This is the charger of my BH Emotion Neo Jumper bike uh, with the connector and uh, right now there are two small screws inside there and one of them with one of them you can set the maximum voltage uh, to experiment I set it at uh, at 42 and a half right now or maybe even 43 uh, but still then my battery does not charge at more than 40.0 volts I suspect the BMS to be the cause because all batteries are equally filled so the, the balancing is, uh, is uh, doing fine uh, but um, the cut off for charging uh, is cutting off too quick Um, I have now connected directly the battery here skipping the BMS with the connector on the bike plus and minus the, the main connectors over there the main connectors minus and plus um, but that resulted In a zero reading over there. Why? Because I knew that already. Because there is a third wire. There are a lot of contact points over there, but there is only one one point that is connected, and that's with the yellow wire over there. And I have now connected a plus with this separate battery pack that gives almost 5 volts uh, to the plus to this yellow wire and the negative is connected with the negative of the battery in fact with the negative of the battery so with the black wire here but in fact I did it here by splitting this wire um, and that works that works so um, if you connect any battery giving about uh, 40 volts with these connections you will get a zero reading over there not 50 percent like now because when the battery is full uh, this yellow wire gives uh, about 10 volts and when the battery is half empty it gives uh, about uh, 5 volts and uh, when it's completely empty it's uh, maybe 1 volt or so I knew that already from before but now I, I have emulated uh, uh, this with uh, a 5 volt uh, a separate battery that one over there in the middle and uh, that tricks the display and it will make the motor run uh, the only disadvantage is that I will need a separate uh, capacity meter of, of, uh, by a voltage meter especially for lithium ion uh, 36 volt batteries uh, to read about the remaining uh, uh, capacity in my battery this is my BH battery right now except from replacing the hood lying over here um, it is ready now first I removed the BMS that's this part it was located over there um, I removed the connector that is placed over there I removed all the connectors from the BMS 
and um, cut off the connector that is connected with all the balance wires the purple one, the grey one, the, the black one, the, the blue one and the green one and I replaced it with two connectors, two balancing connectors one connector is connected with this section of the battery that runs from negative to positive over there and the other connector this one I marked them with a black black and nothing and the other connector is balancing will balance these cells um, there is uh, not much place when the BMS comes free and um, uh, you need also to um, to uh, connect a charge connectors I, I took XT60 connectors for that um, so there, this connector connects from the batteries from 0 volt up till um, uh, 18 volts and this one from 18 volts to 36 that's this one um, so these will be plugged in my uh, my uh, hobby charger and uh, to, to charge the first section of my battery and these ones will be plugged in to charge this section of my battery but that's not all um, I had to emulate a voltage between uh, let's say uh, uh, 3 and, uh, and 10 volts uh, on the yellow wire and the yellow wire uh, that runs in the uh, bicycle is the white wire over here over there uh, so that uh, reaches uh, that contact point over there next to the negative main port um, so I had to emulate that uh, for that uh, initially I took uh, uh, three one and a half volt uh, AA batteries but then later I found a, a fairly compact uh, lithium cell over there uh, the 18500 model so that can be recharged I, and, I, and I can recharge it by uh, uh, connecting this negative pole that negative pole with that contact point uh, to recharge it so I don't need to take off the hood for that uh, for the rest um, uh, there is the the main black wire that makes contact over there that runs to a switch you can you don't need uh, you don't really need a switch and that saves you a lot of space um, but at least you should include a, a fuse, a 30 amp fuse. Uh, there was also a 30 amp fuse uh, on the old BMS over there. From these two connectors there is one wire, the green wire, that runs to both connectors. From to the connector from 0 to 18 volts it runs to the red wire it is connected with the red wire and uh, for the connector that runs from 18 to 36 it's con connected with the negative wire with the first black one so there is a split somewhere let me see that should be this one um, you see two wires are leaving the green wire uh, more or less the same for the white charge wire that runs over there to the 
um, to the crossing over there. Um, that wire is the plus wire for the connector that serves 0 to 18 volts. So that's why it runs in here. And it is the negative wire for the one that goes from 18 to 36. So it runs to here. And then this, the plus wire for 36 volts, runs of course to, uh, to uh, the... Um, where did I connect it? To, to here, this one. And the first wire, the negative wire, from zero volt that runs of course to this connection. So there is uh, some soldering to do and um, uh, I've bundled that a little bit uh, in a strange way, in this way, but uh, that suits me fine. I made some space over there so that these wires can come out like that. The switch uh, simply switches off um, this battery and uh, disconnects uh, this battery uh, from the bicycle. That's the only purpose. Um, for the rest uh, it's, um, you know, uh, before there was no switch at all and it, uh, it, it worked fine and uh, it um, never drained spontaneously so it's not essential. But um, uh, there was place to do that, so I did it. I uh, connected uh, two lithium polymer um, uh, voltage testers. They cost about three euros a piece uh, to my battery. And that gives me information on the charge level of the batteries, of, this, of the it says all, that gives the total voltage, 21.0. My hobby charger gives uh, a little bit different uh, voltages. Um, so it was balanced <laughs> according to the hobby charger. Um, my voltage meter, this one, shows uh, the same voltages as shown over here, so I suspect the hobby charger as not being perfect. But uh, we'll see what happens uh, uh, when in use. Um, I'm not 100% confident that I did not damage any of those cells uh, when I made this battery uh, last year. A point of attention is that you really need to isolate all contacts very very good. Uh, here I used uh, uh, silicon rubber but uh, any rubber is fine to prevent uh, that you get a short circuit because uh, this is a bunch of power and uh, you don't want an explosion or a short circuit that will cause an explosion. Well, this is how it looks like right now. Let me check. No tension right now. Let's switch on. And that results in 41.7. And at the minus side, that's this side. There is the third, this one showing 4.1 volts. Well, that's my bike in the spring sun switch on. This keeps everything dry. And here's my display. And everything works, and it seems that uh, 
this is uh, the charge level is really linear because it's exactly indicating 4.2 volts being 42 percent that's funny okay and uh, i did i made a test drive and it works like before we made a 25.1 kilometer trip with uh, not very speedy about 20 kilometers per hour uh, the indicator for charge level is still on 42 percent so that means that uh, in uh, one hour there is uh, no consumption so i will not need to recharge uh, the small separate battery within a year or so so that's very good i have mounted the voltage uh, level meter over here which i can switch off which i can switch on percentage and on voltage which is uh, which gives me the most accurate information the best thing about uh, the change i made uh, is that i didn't get one error code uh, during this whole hour and that was the problem that made me change the battery I have written the voltages from the two cell groups on the connectors 18 to 36, 18 to 36, and here is written 0 to 18 and 0 to 18. Um, this is my battery charger, the, my hobby charger, connected with 12 volts in my caravan because I have 12 volts av available there. It is, uh, you first select the type of battery you have, lithium polymer or lithium ion, if you want to be a little bit more careful. I will do that now. Um, lithium ion balance charge, that is what I want to do, but not with one amp and then 5S for 18 volts and then press. Now he's checking. Confirm to enter. Okay, now he's charging. to see the separate voltages while charging and also while balancing which takes the most time uh, you can push on the status knob this gives you the quantity of energy that is entering into battery in the battery that has entered the battery up till now total voltage time and so on